How's this whole being cast in a superhero thing for you? I mean, I'd love to get your the whole feeling about being cast and also your musical character. The whole feeling about being cast is just overwhelming. It is a lot of things. Obviously, I'm excited. I'm, I'm overjoyed. I'm, I feel so grateful and privileged to be taking this on. But it is a scary thing. It feels really big. And it feels like a responsibility. A good one. But the character, I think, I love, I love Clark already. I, I think she is such a ray of light. What is it like putting it on that is uh, searching for herself in a way that other minorities are not in life? And knowing her journey, how do you think that she would react to the recent women in the same sense of your Oh, I think she's loved it. <laughs> I think she it was amazing. You know, I think that what I found in playing her is that there was this open love and kind attitude towards life. Putting on the suit for the first time, did it have power to it? Did, did you oh, get, of course. Like, first time I put on the suit, it was like automatically this instant kind of chemical change inside of me. Like something changed, and I feel like a different person every time I put it on. You know, I'm this, I feel like Kara Danvers in my day to day life. I feel like such an awkward, weird girl, and I, that goes away when I put the suit on. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, it's weird. That is weird. We have that kind of actual <laughs> transition to do. Yeah, it's, it's funny what clothes, what a, what a leotard and cape and tights will do. <laughs> Did you have fun with all the various versions? Because they were done like those three or four. Oh, versions. yeah. Really cool. I we had this one. Actually, did that one, that version, the midriff version, they wanted to do that to kind of get that out of the way. To be like, look, this is what I know some people have no expect from the character, but this is not what we're doing. You know, she, but we did have a hairdo. Originally, my hair was like teased and this high with the headband, and the guy was so into it, but they mixed it. Superman is considered a beacon of hope, yes. like in a dark world, she wins a beacon of hope. What is that? Are you, where, where is she? Is she the beacon of hope? Is she something else? Oh, I definitely think she has that too. You know, I, that is one of the key words that comes to mind. When, when we were shooting the pilot, I said I had to feel that almost internally. Just, I always had to feel hopeful. And there's never, she doesn't quit. She doesn't quit. So I definitely think she is speaking to What's your favorite, what's your favorite human quality about Kara? Her quirkiness, her eccentricity. I, that's, I had a really lo a lot of fun playing that. How uh, much of a nerd she is, you know? <laughs> So we got a, a little karaoke out of Grant on Flash. Did you really? At this table? Huh? No, uh, he's on, oh, on, no, on, an, show. on an episode. That's right, that's right. Are we going to get any? You know, <laughs> no. Another Bria You know, film. there is that idea, like, if a villain comes in that not, like, magically makes people break in a song or something, because almost all of us on the show sing. I don't know if Calista sings, but I think almost all of us do. And that would be a really funny thing to explore.